ओके सो रिसेंटली न्यूरो सर्जिकल केस वॉज शिफ्टेड टू आईसीयू एंड इट वॉज इंस्ट्रक्टेड टू कीप द पेशेंट कम्प्लीटली नॉक डाउन टू प्रिवेंट द रेज आईसीपी टू डिक्रीज द रेज आईसीपी सो द पेशेंट वॉज ऑन मिडाजोलॉम फ्रेंडलीन इन्फ्यूजन एंड एट्रक्यूरम इन्फ्यूजन सो अराउंड थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स लेटर द रेसिडेंट कॉज दैट द पेशेंट इज हैविंग वेरी हाई पीक प्रेशर अलार्म ऑन द वेंटिलेटर ऑफ द रेंज ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी एंड इट्स गेटिंग वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू वेंटिलेट द पेशेंट देर इज नो ब्लॉकेज इन द सर्किट द ट्यूब इज फाइन द circuit is fine but there was severe bronchospasm of the patient and the patient was not having any allergic history there was no history of asthma or copd like that absolutely fine so anyway the bronchospasm was vanished with the nebulization and steroids for that matter temporarily and then we stopped the atracurum infusion so and we switched to some other agent and now in the last 24 hours the patient is absolutely fine there is no problem in the ventilation like that so remember that atracurium in few cases few percent of cases somewhere of the range of 0.5 to 1.5 percent of cases cause histamine release and cause severe bronchospasm to the extent that it becomes difficult to ventilate the patient so if you find a patient with no previous history of uh, any asthma or allergy or hypersensitivity suddenly develops bronchospasm uh, and the patient is on atracurum infusion then you should think that this could be the cause of that so stop that and you can switch to cis atracurum at time because cis atracurum doesn't release in the, that much histamine it is safer drug so or switch to another agent so do read more about it